Good day, ladies and germs. Connie here from C-Dubs Media, back with another video. Today, we're looking at some earbuds from Tough On. Hmm, interesting. Haven't really heard of Tough On until they emailed me and asked me to review these earbuds. And I said I would. Now, I'm a person of my word. So if I say I'm going to do it, then I'm going to do it. Now, these earbuds are not earbuds. I shouldn't say earbuds. They're actually open ear hook earbuds. What? It still says earbud on the box, but they're not earbuds. They're open ear headphones. Let's go with that because they sit on the outside of your ear and there's a hook that holds it onto your ear. In my little brain, it equates to two little speakers on the side of your head stuck to your ears, which is kind of cute, but that's what they are. And now I know a lot of people wear these. I see them out and about, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just something I'm not used to. Kind of reminds me of the BFG. I can imagine him having little speakers next to his ears. Could you imagine that? Now, as you look at some of the B-roll, you will notice that on the front it says Tur Wireless Earbuds. And I did ask them, I said, is it supposed to say Tur? What does Tur mean? Or should it say True? And they said, yeah, it's an error. It'll be fixed in the next batch of manufacturing. It's True Wireless Earbuds. They're True Wireless. I mean... They're wireless, they don't have any wires. They're not terror, they're true. This is the case that they come in. And this is probably gonna be my thumbnail. Now on their website, they're actually called Tough On Open Plus Open Ear Headphones. They are $59.99, 60 bucks. That's not bad, that's a good price. The charging case is 450 milliamp hour. That's a lot of milliamp hour for a charging case. So I appreciate that. If they last for one hour, then that's 45 workouts, a month and a half of workouts before you need to recharge your case. Interesting. Now, they weren't the best for running. I'm a long distance runner in my brain. I am anyway. I run like 10Ks when I go running and they do wobble around a bit on a 10K run but many, many high-priced earbuds fall out on 10K runs. So you sort of put that where it is and make your own assumption there. But it wasn't a bad experience with them, but not something I would choose for those real long distances. But a lot of people use open hook earbuds for running. And if you just have the earbuds out and on, they will last for nine hours in total. That's a long time. They are Bluetooth 5.3, so fairly recent Bluetooth model. I like that. It's a good secure connection. Gives you about 10 meters, plus or minus, but it's a good connection. And they have auto pairing. It was real simple to pair these up. Really, really simple. And, you know, one of the things that I found that I enjoyed most about using these, I can wear them anywhere and be totally aware of what's happening around me. I don't lose any of my hearing senses when I'm wearing these. I could hear people talking, could hear everything that was happening around me. Whereas with the traditional earbuds, you get that full on noise cancelling and it just blocks out so much, you're in your own little universe and that's quite dangerous at times or you're not aware of what's happening, even if it's not dangerous. But with these, I was totally aware at all times. Now it isn't a clicky button, it is like a tap to touch, but it does make a clicking sound when I use them, um, which I th is a little bit intrusive, so I wish that they would get rid of that clicking sound in a future model. I like that they're tap or touch to operate, not, not push button. Those days are long gone, I hope, the push button ones, but certainly having the clicking sound there gives it the impression that you're pushing the button, and yeah, it's intrusive to have the click there when you're changing and doing stuff by your ears. Now, press once on the left and right for play and pause, pretty standard there. Press once left or right to answer a call. Press once left or right to end a call. I like that. Now, press three times and it will increase the volume or decrease the volume. Press twice and it will skip forwards or backwards. So right, skip forwards, left, skip back. Right volume up, left volume down. And they said thrice, not three times. They actually said thrice. I don't hear that often. Now, tap and hold for two seconds gives you your assistant. Now, the driver in these is 14.2 millimeters, which is pretty good. 
There they are. Do you think it looks like a speaker? Or would you say it looks like a headphone? 14.2 millimeter drivers in these speakers, headphones. Um, so pretty beefy. Look, overall, I'm impressed with them. I think they're pretty good for the price. They, if you're an open hook type of person, you could have a look at these. The sound is quite good. Now, once I get down below sort of 40%, they're a bit too quiet for me, especially outdoors where there's a lot of external noise. Um, but 50% and above, they put out some good sound. It is nice and clear having the sound here. Uh, I do, I really like it. But right now, they're on full volume. And I couldn't listen to other earbuds on full volume. It'd just be too loud. I'd be shouting at the camera. It'd be horrible. Yeah, so they're not too loud. I actually think that, they're, you know, some earbuds can get too loud and too tinny. That's definitely not the case here. Hot, 100% volume, I can still handle the noise. It's not too much. But like I said, under 50%, it's too quiet. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. This is my video on the Tough On Open Ear One, Open Plus One Ear Hooks. Thank you for sending them out to me. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching if you watched this far, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.